three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Thursday, February 22nd. It is another day the Lord has made. This is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with another End Times video. Today, we're going to be looking at a once-in-a-lifetime End Times sign. Family, let me say thank you. Thank you for tuning back in with us today. Your love and support of this channel, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified every time we upload an End Times video. Now, while we're at End Times News Channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our Creator, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus. And family, nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And family, that Son's name is Jesus, and guess what? He's coming back for His church soon. And family, that's facts. Now to today's End Times video. Okay, family, let's start the video by looking at two verses. Genesis 1.14 And God said, Let there be lights in the ferment of the heaven, to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And then, family, Luke 21.25 And this is about the times we're living in today. The Word of God says, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, the stress of nations were perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. Now, family, that sounds a lot like the times we're living in today, don't it? Family, the April 8th solar eclipse, it is shaping up to be one of the most significant prophetic events of our generation. And family, the revelations that continue to be revealed about this solar eclipse, it absolutely blows my mind. It is the work of the Most High God. Now, family, yesterday we talked about the solar eclipse and how its path travels through seven Ninevehs. And we talked about the sign of Jonah and this eclipse being a 40-day warning. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out after this video. What we're going to be talking about today is yet another revelation about this eclipse. This is super rare. One in 30 million years rare. Once in a lifetime. Let's get into this. Alrighty, family, check out this headline from End of the American Dream from an article that was published on February 21st. The seven other planets in our solar system will form a line as the path of the Great American Eclipse of 2024 crosses America. Family, oh boy, let's get right into this. Family, this is huge, and not like other conjunctions we've witnessed in the past. We will never see this again, family. This is a huge end time sign. Okay, family, so this all began in early January when a planetary alignment began to take shape that will continue till around Pentecost in May. When looking from Jerusalem to the east, all seven planets will line up in three constellations and they will appear to be in a line. This is not what people commonly think of as a planetary alignment where the planets disappear into one bright light from our viewpoint. Family, this is unique. This is super rare. So on April 8th, Eclipse Day, the sun, moon, and other planets in our solar system will appear to form a straight line in the sky when looking out from Jerusalem towards the east. Now family, that looking out from Jerusalem towards the east part is very important. Because in the 2017 eclipse, it went through seven Salem's here in the United States. Salem is short for Jerusalem. Now family, this is different than a planetary alignment. During a planetary alignment, several planets appear to be stacked behind one another as one looks on from Earth. But in this rare case, the other planets in our solar system will literally form a straight line in the sky when you look from Jerusalem to the east. And family, all this is happening on Eclipse Day. Family, an alignment like this involving the sun and the moon happens 1 in 32 million years. And the odds of this happening during a solar eclipse is next to impossible. 
but we know nothing is impossible when it comes to God. This is a super, and I mean a super rare event, but there's more to it. Check this out. Interestingly enough, looking out from the perspective of the sun on April 8th, several of the planets will actually form a V. Family, this is a super rare event right here. You can see the straight line on your screen right there. The planets are going to literally make a straight line. And it involves the sun and the moon. And that is super rare, guys. And at the same time, if you're looking from the sun, if you was able to, it would make a V. Family, this is the only time this type of alignment will ever happen. What's the odds of it happening on Solar Eclipse Day? Family, like I said earlier in the video, this happens once in 32 million years. Family, we will never see this again. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and I think the timing of it, wow. Happening on Solar Eclipse Day, I mean, family, come on. Family, are these planets aligning to make a way for the return of the king? Let us know in the comment section below, and let us know your thoughts on this video. Now, family, a lot of this information was discovered by a sister named Rachel Baxter. She has a channel here on YouTube. I'm going to link it in the description box below. Go check out her video on this. Family, videos like this make me think about Luke 21, 28. And when you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Family, what things? Things like what we talked about today, family. Family, keep on looking up. We're going home soon. Because you see, family, we are seeing the convergence of Bible prophecy happen on a scale like this world's never seen before. Family, Bible prophecy declares that we are living in the last days. And family, remember, Jesus was born of a virgin and he lived a sinless, perfect life. And at the age of 33, he was nailed on the cross and laid down his life for us on the cross. He spilled his perfect, innocent blood for us. Jesus was put in the tomb for how long, family? Three days, three days, three days. But guess what? The tomb could not hold our Messiah. Death could not hold our Messiah. He defeated death. He defeated the tomb. And he ascended to go be with his father, the Most High God. And guess what? He's coming back for his church soon. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High is faithful. The Most High is just. He will forgive your sins. And family, that's facts. Well, family, once again, I want to say thank you for watching. We love you guys. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and share it. It helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because you see, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, please drop them in the comment section below. No request is too small and no request is too big for our God. And if you feel led to make a donation to the Watchman Adam News channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We have ways you could do so. Check the description box below. But as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. Well, family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you guys and remember, let's go Arpazzo! Take care, family. Keep on looking up.